Men, you all know why we're gathered here today. We've all suffered from cattle rustlers. But we just kind of let things slide along. But now, a neighbor of ours, John Preston, has been murdered in cold blood. And I think it's time we take the law in our own hands and clean up the range. Oh, right. 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 That ought to have a long time. We all know who's been stealing our cattle. Yeah, but we haven't got any proof. No, we ain't. How are we going to get it? Yeah. We ain't got no proof on that. But we got some actual evidence on this killing. Well, well there yeah. 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 Now's a good time. Yeah. Yeah. Flash Purdue, tell the boys what you told me. Well, the day John was killed, I happened to be over towards his range. And I seen three men riding away hell for leather. So I followed them till I seen who it was. Well, who well, are they? What's their name? It was old man Benson and them hellions of his. Let's go get them now. Now's a good time to go after them. Yes, sir. The Benson. The Muley Kids folks, Sally. I'll never believe Muley had anything to do with it. Bring them out. I've got to warn the Muley Kid, June. Come on, help me get saddled. Sure. We'll have to be careful, men. This boy they call Muley Kid Benson is mighty fast with a gun. He uses six guns. We got rifles, and we're 12 to 4. Right, right, right. 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 So get them. Get them. Get them. Now, just a moment, men. Young Muley may be plumb stubborn, but he's a different brand from the rest of the Benson herd. And I won't see him killed without a chance to speak for himself. Say, you don't need to protect this Muley kid just because he went to school with your gal and it's sweet on her. You leave my daughter's name out of this, Purdue. Between you and Muley, I'd believe Muley. Why, you, you. I wouldn't try it, Flash. Sam's right popular hereabouts. Well, let's get going. We might as well get this job finished. Yeah. Well, boys, uh, let's have a bite and a drink before we start, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Sally! Sally! Where's uh, Sally, June? Oh, she's somewhere around. Well, never mind her. Run in and see if you can rustle some grub for the boys, eh? Sure, Dad. <laughs> Uh, you see, uh, Sally and June have been my housekeepers and cooks since their mother's been ailing. <laughs> well, come in and sit. I ain't got a glass. Yeah. What did you do with it? Well, I never gave me one. Why not for you? I wish some of you fellas would hurry up a glass. One of you guys get him a glass. The donut's good. You ain't got a glass. No, I ain't Well, boys, I think we better be going. Oh, okay. well, well, I'm I'm right. Right. Oh, that's well, always in a hurry. I say. No. Well, I'd like to finish this book before I go. Well, boys, let's get on them here. Get on them here. Get on them here. I should Hello, 
Sally. Where's Muley? Won't I do just as well as Muley? I've got to see Muley, and quick! Oh, don't be so choosy, honey. Tell your troubles to little buddy. Let go of my hand. I don't want to talk to you. Let me alone, I tell you. Oh, come on. Don't hi hat, little buddy. If you ever speak to Sally again, I'll kill you. Now get out. Get out. Oh, shucks, Muley. You didn't need to get so rough with buddy. Shut up! Get out! Both of you! I'm sorry, Sally. Oh, that's all right, Muley. But you've got to get out of here quick. The vigilantes are coming. The vigilantes? Why, what for, Sally? Well, they think your folks killed John Preston. So they accuse us of that too, do they? You and the boys, come here. Did you fellas have anything to do with the killing of John Preston? You know blame well we didn't. We might have rustled a few cows now and then, but we ain't never killed nobody. What'd you ask that for, Muley? Because the vigilantes are on their way here to get you for doing it. We never done it. Uh-uh. They can't do that. Nobody will ever believe you. But no. You've got to get over the line into Mexico. Hurry, hurry. They'll be here any minute now. Come on, boys, we better get going. It was mighty nice of you to do this for us, Rotten Benson, Sally. But I did it for you, Muley. But we're not worth it. We're just no good. Well, you're not to blame for the rest of the Muley. You're everything that's fine. To me. Coming, Julie. Go ahead, I'll follow. Goodbye, Sally. But you don't have to go, Muley. Father will help clear you. They're my kin. I've got to see them safely over to Mexico. Surely you'll come back. If you ever need me, I'll come back. Yes. Muley's gone, Jill. 
Never mind, honey. He'll come back someday. Well, they got away, across the Mexican border. Yeah, thanks to the warning they got from the Griswold gal. I'm just as well satisfied. I don't exactly believe they killed John Preston. What do you mean by that, Griswold? Keep your shirt on, Flash. Sam may be right about the killing. Anyway, we got rid of that Benson gang without any bloodshed. Oh, yeah? Well, when I meet up with the Muley Kid, there'll be bloodshed. You're a right good gunman, Flash. But again, I'll string with the kid. <laughs> Let's quit the argument and get along back. Well, they can't touch us now, boys. We're across the line. Yeah, you're safe, all right. Well, go on down and turn Max. Well, what are you going to do? I'm going to go back. You're going to do what? I'm going to go back and try and make a man of myself. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you're going back to be a mess. Why, you're going back to that Griswold girl. I told you I'd kill you if you ever spoke to her again. Now I'll kill you if you ever mention her name. Hey, Muley! Why, we may never see you again. If you never do, that'll be soon enough for me. By heck, it's the Muley Kid. Yeah, it's me. Is anybody a looking for me? We were kind of looking for your family, Muley. Yeah, to hang them for a killing they never done. Well, we got some pretty good evidence. You tell me who gave you the evidence, and I'll brand a cowardly liar. So it was you, eh? Oh! That's the Muley Kid's new brand. A split ear. Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! Put it away! You hadn't nerve enough to shoot it out with him face to face. And you ain't going to shoot him in the back. Well, I'll be dog. That kid's as nervy and as stubborn as a meal. All right. You said there'd be bloodshed if you met with the kid, Flash. <laughs> and by Jango, that sure was. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, partner. Say, do you know a bronc buster around here by the name of Peeler Benson? Yeah, I know him well. Say, ain't he the one that he used to call the Muley Kid four or five years ago? Yeah, that's him, all right. But I wouldn't call the Peeler by that name. Yeah? Why not? Well, he didn't exactly like that name, and uh, if you mention it, he's liable to get real tough. Hey, just a minute. I just saw this and figured this peeler might be interested. Peeler, here's something in the paper I think you ought to see. I can't read it now, Jack. We've got to get over to the Grand Entry. Right. But this seems to be important. But it can't be so important it won't wait till I get back. Me, Jack. Wait a minute. But listen, I've got to change my clothes for the bronc riding contest. Yes, but this is important.
Gee, Peeler, this is important. Yeah, this is important. Yeah. All right, let's hear what it's all about. Well, look. shouldn't have give you that paper. Oh, that's all right, Jack. Let me alone for a while. I've got to think this thing over. You'd be on a few minutes. Okay, I'll be there.
going? I'm going back home. Why, you can't do that. All right, I'll make my ride and then I'll go. Ha, ah, come on, pal, let's go. Come on, let's go, come on. Come on, Peeler. Five years hasn't made much change in the old place, has it, Rebel? Well, I guess we'd better be going along to see Sally. How about it? The trail's barred, eh? And Sally, only all grown up and prettier than ever. Oh, I guess I have changed some, but I'm awfully glad to see you, Muley. They don't call me Muley anymore, Sally. I'm Peeler Benson now. That's right. You're a champion bronc peeler now, aren't you? Yeah. A lot of things can happen in five years. But tell me, what's happened? I've ridden almost a week to get back to you. Well, a few months ago, a new outfit came in and took over the old John Preston Ranch. And then they fenced up all the water holes, and we couldn't get any water for our cattle. The few that survived were either stolen or poisoned. What's the matter with your riders? Well, the boys have all been scared off, and some have even been killed. Well, that's funny. Somebody's trying to ruin us. Who is this new owner of Preston's Double Lucky Spread? Well, nobody seems to know the owner, but he has a foreman called Tex Pryor. 
Tex insulted me once, and I lashed him with my quirt. I see. I was on my way to see the sheriff now, although I know he won't do any good. I wanted to show him this. Looks like I got back just in time. Oh, they've seen you talking to me. Don't fall or they'll kill you. Peeler. There's plenty of rifles barring the way to that Griswold ranch. Oh, yeah? Well, suppose you put that rifle down and meet me with a six gun. Stick him up. Put that gun away, Peeler. I'll meet you, but not just yet. Now you backtrack and move fast. Come on. up there. Make it snappy. Well, sure. You blooming old idiot. What do you mean? I mean, you ain't going to start no range wars around here, Mr. Muley Benson. I saw you going through town, and I followed you. Now, you get out of this country, or I'll lock you up till the grand jury meets. Okay, Sheriff. You stated your case. Now you listen to me. I'm Sam Griswold's friend, and I aim to help him. And if you think you can stop me, well, just hop to it. Hey, wait a minute. Come back here. Well, Rebel, looks like it's dark enough to do a little investigating. You stay here now while I look around, and don't you dare follow me.
I figured you'd be coming over here for a little talk. Pretty soon your father's going to come over looking for you. And then there'll be a settlement of all scores. But, but what are you going to do to father? Sam Griswold will die tonight in what will look to be a fair fight. You, you'll be lucky to save yourself by marrying me. Why, you coward! You wouldn't dare. But the sheriff would the throw you... The sheriff will only have your word against mine and all my men, if you live. And whether you live or not depends on how well I like you. Not if I know it. But you won't know it. Coming around, eh? Afraid I busted that thin skull of yours. Come on, get up. Not feeling so chipper, eh? Chipper enough to smear you, you yellow rat. You haven't got nerve enough to untie me and fight it out. Tex Peeler Benson, I'd sure like to take up that challenge of yours, but the buzz other ideas for your finish. <laughs> Sam, Peely Kid, now known as Peter Benson. Peter Benson. What in blazes is all this hocus pocus anyway? Where's Sally? <laughs> if you skunks have her, I'll, I'll tear you apart. Muley, do you know anything about Sally? Well. I reckon a few words of explanation are necessary. <laughs> Your memory ain't so good, is it? Well, maybe you'll remember your brand. The Muley Kid brand. Why, Flash Purdue. Yeah, it's right. People laughed me out of the country five years ago. But tonight, it's my turn to laugh. You'll die for this. And Sam Griswold will die for safe life. Are you miserable, cocky dog? <laughs> get Griswold out and bring in the girl. Come on, get out of here. Come on. Go on, get out. Come on, get out. <laughs> Listen, you muley-faced whelp. I killed John Preston and I framed your people. Hey, you. Yes, and I put that advertisement in the paper. Knowing you'd come back to Sally and walk right into the trap. Just a minute. If the sheriff happens to look for Sam Griswold and find Sally here, they'll hang you. If they have Sally, she'll be my wife. And it can't testify against me. If you even touch Sally, I'll kill you with my bare hands. Rave on while you can. You've only got a few minutes left to live. Sally! I, uh, want you two to console each other while I go out and settle with old Sam. Then it'll be your turn. Why, you murderer! It won't be murder. It'll be a fair fight each time. I'll give them their guns and shoot it out with them in the woods, in the dark. You haven't got the nerve. It won't take much nerve. I've been practicing shooting in the dark for five years, and I'm better now than you have. Take care of them, Tex, till I get back. <laughs> All right, boss, thank you for that. Say, remember that slice you gave me with your quirt? 
Well, when the boss is through with you, I'll make you pay for that plenty. You yellow dog, I'll kill you for this. I'd bust your skull until the boss wants to finish you himself. Really? Really, they've killed Dad? Yeah, that's the end of that old hellion. Well, you're next, Peeler. As soon as Sam's body's drug away, we'll go. What? I'll go into the thicket first, and you'll follow, if you're game enough. The sooner we start, the sooner I'll kill you. Wrong. Plum wrong. You'll die just like Sam did. Then I'll have my revenge. And the girl. Okay, Tex, untie them and send them out. If he should get me, see to it that he don't get back into the house. The boys will keep him covered till he gets outside. All right, Flash. All right, boys. Keep him covered. Wait a minute. Red, you grab the other side of the house. Right. All right, come on, get out of here. Go on. Keep him covered, Jack. All right, put it away. All right, now get out of here. Go on. Billy, Billy, don't go. Please don't go. I've got to go, Sally, but I'll be back. Come on, get back and wave along. Go on. Now get out of here. Go on. All right. Go on over there. And don't pull that gun until you start on the outside. The boy's got you covered from all angles. Go on. Get in there. Sit down on that chair. Sit down. No good for him. Oh, he couldn't have Sam. Mewley. Is that you? Yes, Mewley. Yes. Flash came back with a smoking gun and claimed he'd killed you. What? Why, he told me the same thing about you. 
He sent us out here to kill each other. Why, he stays inside with his men. A perfect alibi. Just a minute, Sam. Let me have your gun. Well, that's the end of the Muley Kid and Sam Griswold. They fought and killed each other while I was here with you. Go out with the boys and locate the bodies, then send for the sheriff. All right, Blaise. Something's gone wrong. I'd get you with my bare hands, and now I'm going to do it. Keep out of the way, Sally. What are you doing? What? Why, it's Elsa. Oh, no. Hit it again. Hey, come on, Muley. Let go. Let go. Oh, you. Oh, hit him again. Hit him. Oh. You yellow rat! Muley! Muley! Light the lamp, Sally. But I can't untie me. What's going on around here? Why, blast you, you young hoodlum. I told you not to start any war around here. The war's all over, Sheriff. Well, if anybody starts anything in my county, I'll lock him up in the Who's Go till the grand jury meets. That's right, Sheriff. And so you didn't really send for me after all. No, I didn't know where to find you. But I wanted you to come back. And do you want me to stay? Yes, always. Come on. They don't need a sheriff. They need a justice of the... Come on. 